What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. All right, guys, you guys are going to love this video because if, if you're into the moon as I am, and I believe I used the term uh, that where it's all started, um, what they've been hiding on the moon and what they've been hiding since uh, that had anything to do with, you know, other beings other than us, extraterrestrial. Um, okay, so my good friend Joe White, uh, he's from Art Alien TV. He had done a video, and I'm going to show you this right now. He actually done a two-part video, I should say. Um, right here, you've got Moon Pyramid and Huge Mining Structures, Part 1. Now, when he did this, I was like, wow, you know, I, I like the way he edited it and brought it out um, to show, you know, the structures or whatever he wanted to show in this video, and I'm not going to give it away. You guys will get the link to this as well as his second part. I'll put that down in the description as usual. It'll be in, my, it'll be in the comment section. I always have mine pinned in the comment section, so look for it there. And then he had this video here, um, Moon Pyramid and Huge High Structures, Part 2. Now, funny thing is, after he did this, like I said, I looked at it, and I said, oh, my God, Joe, you don't understand what's in this photo. Oh, my God. He goes, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. I may be doing it uh, Part 2. I said, well, let me know when you do, and then finish it up, because um, I've already uh, enhanced this photo myself, and I'd like to make a video on it if you don't mind. He says, that's not a problem. So we did kind of this collaboration thing. After that, I showed him, I said, I just want to show you some little tidbit right here. And this is what I showed him. This is just something small, nothing to do with all of the larger, bigger, cooler stuff. But what it looks like is a bright area with a teardrop-looking little craft on it. It's kind of like lean to the side. Now, let me go ahead and enlarge that a little bit for you guys. And I'm going to show you guys this a lot better. So if you can't see much of it, don't worry. That's fine. Look at this. Almost like a teardrop. And the inner, darker part of it is like the same shape as the outer pot and it has what looks like a little fine line right there i don't know if you guys can see that but like i said you will you'll see it a lot better in a moment but i showed him that he says yeah I'm, i think i'm going to be doing a part two so i said well go ahead and do that and you know let me know how, let me know when you're done i'll check it out and i'll do a third part so he said awesome he's got these two and again you guys get the links now in this one here he shows all the areas that he's got a question mark where he's actually done so you've got quite a bit one two three four five he's got like 15 different things right he mocked off everything he had done, and then, of course, he uh, really enhanced the photo. Anyway, so let me show you what I've got, because this is, this is awesome. This is the photo here, right here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time I see photos like this, I go, why is everything washed out? Look at this. No matter where you look at this photo, washed out. Why aren't we seeing any shadows? Notice that? Why aren't you seeing any shadows? If there's nothing here to see, then why? I can go to this photo here in uh, Apollo 8, and at least I can see I can see different parts in the photo. I can see the little, uh, you know, divots in the ground, the lunar surface. I can see uh, craters. I can see shadowing here. I can see all kinds of stuff, and it's pretty decent quality, even though I think most of these have been fooled with, but that doesn't matter. This is a whole lot better superior photo than this piece of crap. Look at this. And, and for the record, guys, I believe some of these are like borderline radar images. So that's why you get these kind of weird looking ground features. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. But why the washout? There's got to be a reason, right? You're going to see the reason right now. Okay, so this is the photo right here. Of course, we've already seen that. But let's go close without it moving around constantly. And you can see there's really nothing in here. But there is. I can see different things in there. I want to show you when I enhance and then I'm going to show you back to this photo here that these things are, in fact, in the photo. I did not make them, and I ignored that I put them in there. All right, let's jump into it. All right, here's that little object I showed him right there. Now, see that right there? It's got this round piece or, like, this lighted area. And what it looks like it has this weird little craft sitting right there. Let me see if I can just do this. Okay, right there. Trying to get the best quality. But you can see it right there. It's like a teardrop shaped. See that? Right there. Right there. Okay. And again, you can see the docker area. It appears to be like the same shape, right? I'm going to show you each anomaly. And then I'm going to brighten it up on the different levels so you can get an idea of just what we're looking at. And you can see the different modes that I went through to try to bring these particular uh, items out, right? All right. There's the smallest one. And you can see it right there. It's at the, at the bottom of the photo. You guys can have a look at it right there. Stop this any way you want to. Here's another crazy thing. Now, I want you guys to take note of this because this is cool. All these things that look like craters, they're not all craters. Here's a crater up here in the top left. See it? 
That's a crater. You got items over here. Another crater. I mean, there's plenty of big and small craters, right? But check this out. Why does this thing look like this weird cube that's been totally blasted with contrast? But I'm not interested in that. Look just to the to the top of it. Look at this. Look at the way this this piece here is shaped right there. Now you've got what looks like this here. You've got and it goes around. But anyway, you got something sitting right on top of that, right? Okay. Look at the other one. Boom. And there's another one over here with something right here. And there's something sticking right out of the top of it. And it looks like it has a lighter, brighter pot to it. See that? These are not all craters, guys. They look like pads with things sitting on top of them. Here, to the left of the screen, right here. What, are, what is all that? If those things were, in fact, rocks, unless it hit it real, real slow on the moon, the size of that, the crater would be like this big, just for this one alone. I mean, come on. Depending on the velocity that these things hit the, the lunar surface, yeah. All right. This is where it starts getting cooler. I'm going to go up. Okay. This item over here. These things. Now, guys, I've been saying this for a long time. I believe that all these missions to the moon, whether you guys believe they, they were or not. And let me make a note of that. A lot of people claim we never went to the moon. You can argue that all day long. It's not, it's not going to make it any less real. They went to the moon. Period. But if you want to believe that, that's fine, too, because I'm not worried about that, whether they did or not. What I care about is the objects they're seeing on the moon. I don't care if it's with the LRO, the, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Just the stuff they're seeing in these photos, that's what I'm interested in. Whether it was the pictures were taken by man or machine, I could care less. The point is these things are there, and that's what interests me. That's it. With that being said, here's one item. Now, here's another one, and I think you guys seen part of it in a second ago. Check this out. I didn't notice this until after. I'm going to show you what I mean. This is cool. This right here, what the hell is that? Looks like this weird disc thing. What a darker dome type thing or structures on it, and it has what looks like legs on it. Right? But that's not the only thing I noticed. What I noticed was this here. It actually has another platform to it. Whoops, do this. Boom, corner, goes over to here, goes around, goes like this. And you can see what looks like structures right here. See this? Check that out. Now, let's brighten that up a little bit. Check that out. In, they're all in the photos, guys. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But we can change it different colors. Well, just filters. That's all it basically is, right? What is that, guys? What the hell is that? Now, to me, that's not... That is far from being something on the lunar surface. not a crater by any stretch of the means. There's your filter. Okay? Now, let's back out a little bit and go up to this part. Because it just keeps getting better, guys. I think Joe might have even mentioned this one. So there might be actually two pieces we've seen. This item here. What the hell is that? See what it looks like it has a kind of a square base to it? Almost rounded here at the top. And it has a docking area that does this. And it looks like it's like this. And of course, I'm doing a kind of a sloppy work to that. Um, check this out. Now, this is the other object that Joe noticed right there. But check this out. This thing looks like it's got framework. There's a slot right here. And it does this. I'm not sure what the hell this thing is. But whatever that thing is, that's insane looking. This, again, what it does is, does this. Looks like a nice 90 degree angle right here. It goes like this. Appears to do this and it has this dark opening. But you're going to see that a little bit better too in a minute. Check this out. Actually, we can brighten this up now. Check this out. See these? this right here? There's one item here. White item, one item here. But check the way this thing does this. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do, but let's go like this. It, it, it almost looks like some kind of weird structure or craft or something that's been laying here.
That, to me, is cool. You can't tell me these are craters. There's no way in hell that's a crater, nor is that. These things are sticking up and out of the surface. So that blows that theory out of the water. In addition, we've got this over here. I'm not sure what to make of that. See the way the ground looks like over here? It almost looks like these weird... Let's do it this way. A little further. You can see the way this the ground goes. Actually, I did that a little sloppily, but that's okay. Let's do this. And you have what looks like these different... Look at this. Something round right there. It's very dark, but it's right there. Look, guys. Come on. There's no way... Yeah. There's no way, right there, um, that these things are not intelligently made. There's no way these are lunar surface, uh, you know, features. There's no way. Now, it gets better. Let's go to the back of the photo. Check these out. These look like bridges going over pots of land, a, a spacecraft or structure, another one here. Let's get into this. Starting with this one here, check this out. It looks like some kind of weird bridge. Goes across and comes back down. There's something here, and it's been blocked out, but you can see it's like partially there. And you can see something right here, like the features to it. Looks like something else goes like this. Whatever these things are, look at this. Something else on the right there goes like this. Docky area in the middle. Another piece here. Um, check this out. There's no way, guys. There's no way these are just natural lunar anomalies. The other thing I didn't notice was this here until after. Check this out. Almost looks like it has this piece going down like this. Going down. Has these whited features here. What looks like it has a dome and goes down like this. See it? And another, the other part of it going like this. I'm not sure what to make of that. These things are all in the photo, guys. They're all in there. Check this out. And, and there's much more in this photo. I didn't tackle all of these. Um, I think Joe might have even seen this right here, this little thing here. And what it reminded me of was this other larger one laying right here. Now, people say, well, that's just a crater. No, it's actually off the ground because you can see that right here where it ends. It goes like this, and this pot hits the ground, and it goes back up. See that? So whatever that is, it almost looks like, guys, it looks like this crashed craft over years and upon years and thousands of years. We don't know. Look, it's just this little thing alone. Like I said, this alone is puzzling to me. That's not a crater. No means, no how is that a crater. Yeah. No way. All right, guys, I'm not going to make this too long, but what I'm going to do is every one of these photos that have filters on them, every one you see here, I'm going to put it on Google+. Plus. I want you guys to have a look at these things. I might even do a couple close-ups for you guys so you guys can check these out yourself. Absolutely astounding. There's no way, especially these things right here in the middle. My God, look at these. There's no way that that is, that that's naturally occurring. There's another area right here. Check this out. And you can see this very, right there. Look at the way that is. And you've got this other uh, anomaly sitting right here. Now, let me show you guys this right here. See if we can find it. Oh, we can do it here. It don't matter. Uh, right here. Now, I'm going to show you this. Let's zoom in. Here's that other piece laying on its side. It is so hard to find these things, but they're in the photos. Here's that one right here. Right there. This is the piece laying on the ground. Right here. Okay, now off to the left of this, and this is really hard to find, guys, right here. Here's that box you can see right there. You can see this thing right here. You can see where it goes like this. Well, it's even hard to see until you actually enhance it. But that's those right there. And you've got this little piece right here below it. Let's find that. It's right there. You can see it very faintly, but it's there. And then you've got this item way down here. This one's the hottest of all to find. But it is right here. Let me just move it over. It's in the middle of the screen. It's right there. You can just see the black area right there. And it's the circle pot going like this. Either way, this stuff is in the photo. You can see it. 
and in the back check this out there they are right there one there one there you got these bridges looks like going across here's the other one right here going right across well looks like bridges of some sort so is this a structure of some sort and this thing just goes all the way across all the way down it's almost like it's going up and over uh like craters and stuff like that think about it what's the best way to do it the straightest line right are they transportation tubes? Are they just main, like bridges like we would build here only on the uh, the surface of the moon? Think about it. You, you don't have to worry about, you know, structures caving in on themselves because there's not a whole lot of gravity there, right? Um, but again, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here for you guys. Let you guys check these out. Pause it any way you like. Uh, let me do this. Let me just back up just a hair bit. Use your magnifiers if you want to check it out more. Bring this down. There you go, guys. Tell me what you guys think. To me, this is, this is why they're going to the moon. And I think that's what the great space race was. It wasn't about superiority and who is going to be, uh, you know, who's got the better technology and who's got be basically the bigger punk on the schoolyard. That's not what this was about. Somebody got wind of it, this stuff on the moon, and it was the space race to get there to find and look at this stuff. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm not going to take up too much more time. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. Again, look for the links to Joe, my buddy Joe, uh, Joe White's uh, videos, the first and second part. I'll leave the links there in my comment section. I usually leave my, leave my own comment on the top in the comment section. I usually pin it to the top with all the links. You guys can check it out right there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. You guys have yourself a good day, and we'll see you in the next video.